Hi, I'm Norval from Inside Edition, but I'm here right now as a member of the Broadcasters Foundation Board of Directors. The broadcasting business has been very good to me, and I thank God that life has been good to my family. However, by working with the Broadcasters Foundation, I've discovered that for a lot of people in our industry, life's twists and turns have brought havoc upon their families. It is true that bad things can happen to good people. The Broadcasters Foundation works every day throughout the year to help raise money to help radio and television broadcasters who, through no fault of their own, are in acute financial need. Every month, dozens of individuals and families in our broadcasting community receive grant checks that provide the basics, sometimes just to stay afloat and to maintain their personal dignity. The needs vary from advanced age or illness to the death of a spouse, a gravely ill child, or simply an unexpected accident. And since the population as a whole is getting older and everybody seems to be living longer, the chances that a personal disaster will strike become greater and greater. The Broadcasters Foundation must be there to provide a safety net because we are the only organization in radio and television that provides that kind of assistance. Our grant recipients remain anonymous, but two of them have allowed us to tell their stories publicly in hopes that their messages will encourage your support of what we're doing. It's difficult to imagine the devastating one-two punch that Sherry Wyman from Colorado absorbed in September of 2002. First off, her husband John, who was a sales manager at KEZW in Denver, suffered a brain aneurysm while he was at work at the office. He died two weeks later. Then, incredibly, just days after that, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Besides the emotional challenge of burying a husband and facing a debilitating disease, Sherry also has two teenage daughters to raise and the very practical matter of paying $1,400 a month just for the medicine to keep that MS from progressing. Sherry Wyman is committed to getting well and to raising her and John's children and she had no idea where to go for help. But then somebody at the station told her about the Broadcasters Foundation and the foundation came through immediately. Sherry very simply stated it when she said, quote, the Broadcasters Foundation has been a godsend. One other individual who's allowed us to tell their story is Al Seataller of Salt Lake City, Utah. Al had an incredible 30-year career as a television general manager at KUTV in Salt Lake City, later at KMGH in Denver. His career was great, both as a television broadcaster with so many happy years in the business, and frankly, he loved living in Colorado. Plenty of time off to become an expert downhill skier. On the other hand, Al can also tell you what a really bad day is. And for him, that really bad day came in January of 1999 when a stroke left him paralyzed on his left side, unable to speak, struggling to swallow. Al was only 57. He was lucky to survive, and six years later, he is far from recovered. His left arm is basically useless, his left leg is weak, and embedded in his abdomen is a device that continually secretes a muscle relaxant into his spine to prevent those spasms on his damaged left side. But Al gets around with a cane, he speaks clearly enough, and, and although he has to sometimes pause to sip water because of chronic dry mouth, he's getting along just fine. He continues to improve, and thanks to the Broadcasters Foundation, Al is now living comfortably in a retirement community in Salt Lake near his two kids and his three grandchildren. He wanted us to tell his story, and he wanted to publicly acknowledge the assistance from the Broadcasters Foundation in hopes that it will encourage more folks to contribute. Al C. Taller and Cherry Wyman are just two of dozens of individuals and families for whom we think we're making a real difference every day of their lives. Focus for a moment on this. This year, we anticipate that we will be giving out over $350,000 in grant money to broadcasters and their families in need. But we cannot anticipate what the demand will be next year or the year after that. And frankly, we have no way of knowing what the requests are going to be on the desk tomorrow. That's why we'd like to have your help in making our endowment fund grow so that in the future, no call for help will ever go unanswered. President Teddy Roosevelt once said pretty eloquently, I think, quote, every person owes a part of their time and money to the business or industry in which they're engaged. Well, I'm engaged in broadcasting, and this is one way for me to give back to a business that's been good to me. Help us by making a tax-deductible gift to the Broadcasters Foundation Endowment Fund and do it now while you're thinking about it. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share our story with you, and thank you for helping to improve the lives of our colleagues in broadcasting. 
Special thanks to Sherry and Al for letting us share their story in order to help other people out there. Thank you very much for helping, and I promise you, from personal experience, it'll feel good.